mounting a PDB file in ESA's to do. PDB files are the backup image containing files created by ESA's to do. I have one here on my backup drive in my backups, a backup we created earlier. And you can see it's basically a very large file and normally the way to mount it so that you could examine its contents is simply to double click on it. Unfortunately, sometimes that doesn't work uh, for reasons that I don't know, but there is another approach to mounting it. We're actually going to start and run ESA's to do. And on its tools menu, that's this menu down here at the lower left, there is in fact something called mount unmount. Now I'm going to ignore this since it, in case you don't, in case ESA's to do doesn't already know about the backup, you can instead browse for the specific file. Uh, I'll locate it on my computer and the backup drive, the my backups folder, the disk zero folder, and there's that PDB file. You can see that it's looking for PDB files. We'll hit OK, and now ESA's to do is going to show me the contents of that file. It happens to have contents of three partitions. I'll select the partition that I want to mount, and we'll click Proceed. So what it's done is it has now mounted it at drive letter X. And sure enough, if I take a look at drive letter X, it looks like the contents of a file and I can, or the contents of a drive and I can move around in it. When I'm done, uh, we can now go to, uh, get back to mount and unmount. This time we'll look at the list of mounted drives and we can see that we have this particular file mounted as drive X. We'll simply click on unmount. And now we're back to where we started.